The Minister of Creative Economy, Hanatu Musawa, has declared that the history of Nigeria cannot be complete without mentioning King Jaja of Opobo as one of Nigeria's greatest past heroes. The minister made this known at the inauguration of the Technical Committee to oversee the implementation of the preservation of Nigeria's cultural and heritage and the establishment of the King Jaja of Opobo Cultural and Historical Center in Opobo River State. The project, according to the minister, signifies a milestone in the collective resolve for the present administration to take Nigeria's art and culture to greater heights. The minister said the noble idea behind the establishment of the center was conceived when His Royal Majesty Douglas Opobo visited her with a large delegation to speak to her about King Jaja of Opobo and his significance to the Nigeria's history. Immortalizing him and allowing the next generation to understand the uh, the strides that he has made, the values, the traditions, the culture, you know, that he has been able to impart, I think will really make Nigeria more fortified as a country. Again, sir, I really am honored to even be in the presence of such great, such royalty, and um, I thank you and all your people, and I want you to know that for me, Everything that needs to be done to ensure that Nigerians and the international community know of the legacy of this great man, I'm ready to do everything. So I thank you and we look forward to teaching Nigeria and the international community who this great man was. So when you talk about all the great heroes of Nigeria, I think King Jaja of Opobo certainly has to be at the forefront of that. His Royal Majesty Douglas Opobo, together with the Honorable Awaji Inombek Abiante, representing the Opobo people in the House of Representatives while appreciating the gesture, said the establishment of the center will go a long way in immortalizing the legacy of King Jaja of Opobo for the benefit of generations yet unborn. That of exposure, appreciation, immortalizing, that of developing our culture, our tradition, even in terms of research and studies, in terms of letting the world know exactly who we are, bonding us together as a people. It will also create jobs. It is in the area of tourism. A lot. It, it will open up that environment. The whole, it will open, open it up. So, a uh, lot. We expect a lot to achieve, a lot to gain. It will be right for us to begin to think that that access, the people access, will now become the hope of tourism in river states and even in the south south if we harness the things that are there properly we have the aquatic splendor they're just behind the ocean we have a neighboring local government area underneath that has elephants if those elephants are conserved at this period you can imagine what that will bring to us with the white the white beach by the Atlantic Ocean. There are lots of things that will happen. Talking about the blue economy, it's going to also be part of its development. It is not only for people that um, are not only bad for people. people. It is for the generation of the, of the, of the country and, and the world. So, but the last case that you know, in this way is to um, leave a legacy behind for generations unborn. You know, to know that these people fought, you know, for the defense of this country and for them to inculcate in them the, uh, the spirit of you know, uh, patriotism to defend this country and make sure that the future of, of this country is brighter. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.